Hi everybody, it's Sandy. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do a video for a few days, but um, we aren't going to be going back to the hospital until Sunday. Uh, <clears throat> it's been a rough few days. So for those of you that don't know, my sister's in the hospital. She had to have brain surgery, emergency brain surgery. Um, <clears throat> She had a brain bleed and she had cerebral fluid building up in her brain and she had to have it drained. Um, today, my niece is there with her and her husband, or uh, my sister's husband, my brother-in-law, are with her right now. So I thought I would give them a couple of days to be with her uh, and then I was going to go back on Sunday. I stayed all, up all night with her the first night after her surgery and I didn't get any sleep. Yesterday I came home, I went to, I just, I crashed. I was in bed at 5 and I didn't wake up until 8. I stayed up for maybe an hour and then I went back to bed and I didn't wake up again today until 10. So, yeah, I guess I needed it. <clears throat> with all the stress and everything so my niece has reported back to me and telling me that she is um, coherent she's talking she's still got double vision uh, but she isn't there really she's she's communicating with you but she's having the same conversation over and over again she's not retaining what's being said um, <clears throat> So we're, she's getting another MRI and CAT scan done today. I'm just waiting to hear the results of that. Um, yeah. So anyways, I thought I'd make a video just to try and keep my mind off it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to try really hard not to cry and um, talk about something else. Okay. So I got a couple of packages in the mail. Actually, I got a few packages. I got a couple of happy mail, so I'm going to do a mismatch video. Uh, I'm not going to do separate videos for all of this. And I'm sorry if I don't seem really excited about this stuff. It's, it's really hard right now for me to kind of keep up my, my usual. <laughs> you know, I'm, my sister is my world. Um, she's the only family I have left other than my kids and my niece. So, uh, so this is really, really, really hard. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Um, you know when I was doing, oh, I was doing a cardigan in, um, latte. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> Oh, God help me. Um, <clears throat> I was doing it in latte cake in blackberry. And I was saying that I couldn't find any blackberry to finish the sweater. Well, I ended up finding one. And it was enough to finish the sweater. So, but in that period of frantically trying to find blackberry, uh, a... Yarny sister had contacted me. Her name is Carla. And she sent me three balls. <laughs> three balls of it. Ugh. So now I have enough for another sweater. <laughs> so um, thank you so much, Carla. That was so sweet of you. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got lots of latte cakes now. <laughs> so that's good because I absolutely love this color. So I was actually thinking about making a hat to go with it. So this is going to work out perfectly. I also got a very big surprise happy mail that I was not expecting at all. Like it just blew my mind because she's a brand new channel. We all know her, um, it's the yarn hag Ryan. Um, 
yeah she's brand new she's only got maybe five videos out now I've, I'm kind of out of the loop right now I haven't been watching a whole lot um, but <clears throat> yeah so she sent me this I don't know if it was a random act of kindness or I've got hair I'm losing my hair like crazy right now it must be the stress I don't know but I'm just pulling it and it's just coming out it's like crazy um, so anyway, she, she sent this to me, which I, it almost made me cry because it came, I, I picked it up as we were driving out of town to go to the hospital. And so this couldn't have come at a better time. It was so sweet. So she sent me a card. And I've already opened this, by the way. Um, but it says, Happy Day. And it says, Happy Every Day. Sandy, so glad to see you are fully be feeling better. Something warm for your feet and one of my favorite hooks. Um, slides like a hot knife through butter. Great for acrylic yarn. Have a great week, Yarn Ryan from AKA Yarn Hag. Now I saw her video and I think she was talking about these and I was just like, oh, I want to get one of those hooks. But we don't have Hobby Lobby here, so we can't get the Yarnology stuff, which is such a bummer, right? So she sent me, oops, one of these hooks. This is a 5.5 millimeter which is perfect because I usually use a five between a five and a 6.5 millimeter hook. So this is perfect. Oops, are we focusing? Are we not focusing? What are we doing? Is that focusing? I don't even know. But anyways, it's, now that I'm showing it, I can take it out of this. There we go. But it's kind of like a, can you see it now? It's kind of like a flat, it's not really flat, it's kind of got a bow. It's like a furls, but furls has more of a bulbous. But this is, it's the same kind of shaping as a furls. And you all know how much I love my furls, right? So I've been really excited to try one of these hooks. So thank you so much, Ryan. This is perfect. She also, <laughs> she also sent me a pair of socks. Now, if I could get my hands on a pair of these socks, man, I'd be putting them in giveaways and stuff. But um, the socks say, don't ask about the stash. <laughs> Is that not awesome? I, I saw those and I just thought, I have to put those on. They are perfect and they feel so soft. So, so for all of you in the States that have a Hobby Lobby, these are at Hobby Lobby. So that's just great. I love them. Love them. So thank you so much, Ryan. Mwah. And thank you, Carla, Mwah, for the yarn. Um... I finally got my uh, my Huga yarn from Hirschner's and it's funny because it's twice now that I've ordered from them and twice that it's taken like three weeks to get my order and I've sent the day I send them a message bitching them out <laughs> is the day it either arrives or it arrives the next day and then I feel like a bag of crap but I still don't understand why it takes so long you know, I, I, it's, it has to go through the border and, oh, and look at the bag that she put that stuff in. Isn't that cute? Um, yeah, I guess it's from the border crossing and the, all that crap too, right? So, whatever. Okay, so I also just got, like, um, George and I just went out, I had to go to Michael's <clears throat> and pick some stuff up for Stitch Fest. And I came home to my premiere order. 
So that was fun. Um, oh, I was going to show you the Huga yarn. My brain is just mush right now, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, hang on. Okay. So I got this Huga yarn. So pretty. Look at that color. Let me try and turn this. Oh, I can't reach it. Never mind. It's such a pretty color. And this color is slate blue. And yes, it is. It's actually a little bit darker than what it's showing only because I've got the light right here. So it's kind of blowing it out a little bit. So I got that color. And then I got do, 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 ivory. And I love, love this color. There's a story to go along with this one, right? I made, I made this sweater for my housekeeper. It's made out of alpaca and uh, what else did I use? I used, uh, oh, oh, what is this called? Ah. Illusions, Hayfield Illusions. I used that and alpaca that I get from Michaels. Uh, the problem was, I mean, it's a beautiful sweater. Problem is, is it sheds like a son of a you know what. Um, and also, uh, I made it and thinking that it was going to be the right size and the alpaca stretched and it is now like a, a 1X and she's like a medium. So, can't give that to her. So she decided she wanted this. So I'm going to make her another one out of this. Um, and then I got white. Right, so you don't need to see the white. So those are the colors I got. <laughs> and of course, I didn't get gray, which is what I needed for this sweater I was making. <sighs> so I think what I'm going to have to do is put another color with the gray instead of having the whole thing a solid gray. So, yeah. Um, okay, so now it's my premier yarn. Oh, drag this box over here. Now the first thing I noticed when I opened this box was they had a sale on everyday yarn. So I opened the box to find this blue everyday. Okay. Everyday Premier Anti-Pilling. I haven't tried the anti-pilling yet, so I was really excited about that. This color is Blue Heather. Okay. Funny thing is, as soon as I open this, oh, where is it? Ah, it looked exactly like the Lion Brand jeans. Come on, focus. Okay just a different color. Come on, focus. There. Does that not look exactly the same? Except the jeans is a little bit thinner. But it looks exactly the same. I was like, woohoo! <laughs> that was a bonus. I'm really starting to like the heather type of yarn because the this jeans color is stone wash and I was wanting to try this for quite a while well ever since I saw it but we can't get it um, so I uh, ordered that excuse me ordered this online or did I get this I think I got this from somebody and so I was really excited to get this and then I saw this and went oh my goodness and it's soft it's like just as soft as this one, but this one's a little bit thicker. So, hmm, good to know. So I may end up having to get this one more. Okay, so I got that. Oops. And then I got, I've used this before. It's the Mega Brushed. And 
This makes really good hats. It's mega brush chunky. Come on, focus. There we go. Okay. Isn't that nice? And this color is chocolate cherry. So I got two packs. Did I get two packs of that? Yeah, I got two packs of the chocolate cherry. And I can't remember how much they were. Sorry, guys. And then I got this one. And I don't usually buy uh, anything with yellow in it because I'm not a huge yellow fan. But I got this one. And the color is autumn. So, but it was, it was really pretty because it's got like a whole bunch of different colors, right? So I got that one. And this stuff is 100% acrylic. So that's nice. And the everyday is, I believe it's acrylic too. Uh, yeah, this is all acrylic. So I thought that was really nice. I thought that was going to make a really nice cowl and hat set. And I got two of those. And oh, I got two of the Heather as well. Oh, and here's a bill. Maybe I can tell you now. The prices probably are different. So the Heather, the Heather Blue was $1.99 each or was that yeah dollar 99 a piece um and then the autumn these were all a dollar 99 okay that's probably why i got them <laughs> so my bill came out to 59 dollars and with shipping the shipping cost as much as the order did it was crazy so it's 49 dollars to ship it so the bill cost me $107 for $59 worth of yarn. That's crazy. Um, okay, so I got more of the everyday anti-pilling. And this, oh, this is a pretty color. This is charcoal heather. Come on, focus. There you go. Isn't that pretty? So it's like, a, it's a black and gray. So pretty. I'm gonna, I'm looking so forward to using this stuff. And I'm running out of room. <laughs> so I got two of those. And then I got two of these. <gasps> oh, this looks as pretty as it did on the on camera. Oh. Now you all know I'm really into my my uh, dark red. Um, this is red heather. Ah, uh, look at that. Ah, uh, I may have to make something for myself. <laughs> so that's my order. Yeah. So I can't wait to try this stuff out. I am really happy with it really happy with it so let me just put this stuff away here oh I tell you I shouldn't be buying yarn because I've got so much yarn it's crazy but I think I'm either sleep shopping or something I don't it, you guys are a terrible influence because every time I hear oh this person's there this company's got a sale or that company's got a sale I have to go and look oh it's terrible anyway so I'm started I decided I got like this huge um response to my fish hat for this fish hat and so I decided 
that I'm going to start making some. But what I'm doing is I'm like I've got like two or three drawers in my big plastic chest that is full of balls of yarn that I've just balled up like just from pieces of projects that I've done and whatnot. So I'm picking and choosing different yarns and different colors to go to do the tails of these hats. So I just started this one yet a couple days ago and this is going to be the tail of one. So and now I'm just working on the body and then I'm using um, Charisma Tweed for the body. And this color is Sweet Dreams. <clears throat> so this, oops, this part of the hat is going to be this. And then um, I'll probably do the fins in a dark blue or something. I don't know yet. So I'm going to start making those. Um, what else am I doing? I've, I don't even know. I can't think. So anyways, I just wanted to get on and share that all with you and thank um, Carla and Ryan for their gift. It was very sweet of you. Very sweet of you and it came at a perfect time. So, <clears throat> but I will keep you guys posted. Um, we'll see how Sunday goes. Um, she, when I was there, she recognized her husband but didn't recognize me. And uh, so that was a little scary. But <clears throat> I'm hoping that when I go and see her, she'll be a lot better. And... Uh, I'll actually be able to have a conversation with her. She may not remember it, but it'll make me feel better knowing that I've actually been able to talk to her because uh, she was in a pretty bad state when I was with her. So anyway, okay. So thanks for watching and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Uh, hi guys, I am um, I just got the best news ever um, I just got a phone call from my sister She's talking she's just like she was before the surgery. She's back. She's, um... <sighs> She's okay. Um... Uh, I couldn't be more relieved. I'm just... <sighs> I just, as soon as I heard her voice, I just couldn't stop crying, and, um... <sighs> I just want to say thank you so much for all of your well wishes and your prayers. It helped. It, it helped so much. Um... I really thought I lost her. Um, I'm so sorry, I'm ugly crying right now, but I am just... I am so relieved and so happy and just to hear her be talking was such a relief. And I just, I, I, 
you guys mean so much to me and you helped her pull through this and I thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart I thank you for my family and for anybody that does not believe in the power of prayer in whatever religion you're in or any faith that you're in it works it really works and I called on every god goddess power I could think of and I called on my parents and my my late husband I called on everybody to surround her and to bring her back to us and they did so thank you so much I love you all I will keep you posted okay Mwah.